Hi everyone, good Monday evening to you. Welcome back to Weather for Weather Geeks. How about that weekend, huh? What a amazing weekend it was. A perfect uh, summer-like weather to get outdoors. And really, you know, we deserved it. We had several chilly weekends in a row. In fact, when you look at the calendar for you, look at the weekends before this weekend we just got done with. Highs were in the 40s every single weekend day with the exception of Saturday the 16th. Uh, so far in April, but we did 83 Saturday, 84 yesterday, 83 today. We pretty much erased the temperature, you know, kind of deficit, if you will, that we were running thanks to all the cool weather we had earlier in the month. Now we're pretty much back to average when you factor in the highs and the lows for temperatures in the month of April. Now, that being said, of course, the next five days, the final five days of April will be quite a bit different than the last few days. And so we may still kind of finish out the month with cooler than average temperatures. You may be a little surprised to uh, hear that there was a tornado in northern Ohio today. The uh, National Weather Service office in Cleveland went out and did a quick survey of some damage in Lorain County, west of downtown Cleveland, and did find EF0 tornado damage. Now, this thing was only on the ground for less than a minute and less than a tenth of a mile, but it did do some damage to uh, a few industrial buildings. And again, this was uh, mid-afternoon around 2.19 p.m. and mostly west of Cleveland. The severe weather risk across our region today has never been very high, but it has been non-zero something that we've had to keep an eye on because there's there's some wind energy aloft, there's some wind shear, uh, changing of the wind direction and speed with height, uh, some modest instability, not crazy amounts of instability. And we're not going to close the door just yet on a feisty thunderstorm before the evening is through. All of what we've seen so far has been pretty garden variety, it's been well behaved. Um, but looking off to the south and west, you know, we do have a couple of claps of thunder, and some lightning down near uh, Cambridge as of this recording at 7.13. Some gusty thunderstorms uh, moving across the I-77 corridor in southeast Ohio again as of this recording, and I'll be keeping an eye on this as we go through the evening. So the uh, Storm Prediction Center outlook, severe weather outlook today, never uh, got above that one on a one to five scale uh, category. Um, so it's always been on the lower end, but you know we haven't had a severe weather threat day in a while around here with the cool weather we've had lately. So. Uh, today's setup did uh, get our attention, certainly. And what else has gotten our attention? The cold front that's heading our way as we speak. As of this recording at 7.13, 84 in Morgantown, 58 in Detroit. The cold front is crossing the I-71 corridor, the I-77 corridor as well this evening. And we will wake up tomorrow morning. Nothing unusual for late April, but certainly a big change compared to the last few mornings where it's been balmy, if not downright warm. Uh, we'll be in the mid-40s, uh, and this is about 20-plus degrees cooler than some of us were at the start of the day today. So, yeah, it's back to jacket weather as Tuesday gets underway. In the meantime, uh, one last round of showers with possible thunder this evening. Showers will fade away pretty quickly overnight, and I do think as we head off to work and school tomorrow morning, we're likely to be dry. Our model here tries to spit up a few sprinkles and showers first thing tomorrow morning. Not, not, not ready to buy that just yet. I've got a dry forecast for a lot of the day tomorrow. Now, that being said, I do think there is an increased chance of a sprinkle or a shower um, towards the end of the afternoon and evening into our Tuesday. And uh, temperatures will struggle. Uh, we'll be in the mid-50s at best tomorrow afternoon. And speaking of struggling, while tomorrow is kind of, you know, kind of a slap in the face, Wednesday will be downright rude. <laughs> I mean, we've had highs in the lower and middle 80s over the last few days. We're going to struggle to get out of the 30s on Wednesday. If we're lucky, it'll be 40 or so on Wednesday. And maybe, just maybe, the season's last snow flurries may be seen, especially in the morning on Wednesday. It looks pretty bright at the end of the week. Uh, we'll, be, uh, we'll be firmly in this dry air mass coming in from the north Thursday and into Friday. Even Saturday looks fairly sunny. So I think we're going to string together a few pretty bright days in a row as temperatures will start to rebound. Now, if you went out and uh, got some hanging baskets in this, in this warm weather we've had over the last few days, you're going to want to cover those or bring them in. Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, uh, we're going to be talking overnight lows below freezing with frost and freeze concerns. Um, in the meantime, the daytime hours, um, a slow moderating trend. 51 Thursday, but then 57 Friday and back to normal by the start of the weekend. Mid-60s on Saturday. Small chance of a shower Sunday. Most of Sunday should be rain-free. Actually, you know, this isn't bad. Upper 60s to around 70 for the first couple of days of the month of May. So compared to the average, here's a look at the next 10 days, 23 below average on Wednesday. I think as we head into the month of May, the overall pattern may not be as cool as it looked like five or six days ago. Um, now, it doesn't look very warm either. 
but as we've seen, in a relatively benign month of April temperature-wise, when you factor in all 30 days, we had our peaks and valleys. I think we're going to have the same thing in May. Every day is not going to be chilly. Um, we're going to struggle to see the kind of summer-like warmth that we've seen over the last few days. But it does not look like anything remarkable temperature-wise, um, at least for the first week to 10 days and perhaps even beyond that. And embedded in that kind of ho-hum pattern, yeah, there can be a day or two where it gets pretty warm. There could be a day or two where it's pretty chilly. But sustained abnormal temperature regimes, um, that does not seem very likely as we go into the month of May. We're going to uh, update that May forecast coming up at the very end of this week on Weather for Weather Geeks. In the meantime, stay weather aware this evening. Uh, make sure you're following me on all the social media outlets, including my new Facebook page, Chief Meteorologist Eric Wilhelm or Eric Wilhelm WFMJ. If you do a search on Facebook, you'll find me there. I'll keep an eye on some of those showers and storms to our west. Uh, and then, well, no more storms. It's back to the chill for a few days. Again, thanks for watching. I'll see you right back here on Tuesday.